Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Teacher, estaré de oyente por unos 15 minutos nada más, porque en realidad no he llegado a mi casa. Okay. Me voy en camino. Ok, perfecto. Welcome, Gaby. Welcome, Gaby. 
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome back. Good evening, teacher.
Okay, I'm still waiting. We are going to start talking about the topic for today and the rest of the class can add in that time because we need to study some topics. So Okay, let us start now uh, with the ones that we have here right now. Uh, let me show you the material that we are going to use. Okay, this is class number 14, and today we are going to talk about the simple present progressive for temporary situation. That is our topic, so I invite you to look uh, in the material. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to tell you the numbers of the page where you can find it. Lo puedes encontrar en la página 37. Okay, let us start now then. Okay, this is time for review. Uh, you are going to remember what we started yesterday. Uh, some of you can give me some example re related with the topic, the previous one. Okay, tell me. What do you remember about yesterday?
Hola, hola, hola. ¿Sí me están oyendo bien o no? Oh. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Yes, teacher, I can listen. Ok, ok, perfecto. Okay, let us make a review about the, the, the previous class. What do you remember about? ¿Qué recuerdan? Ok, hay algunos que no pueden entrar a la plataforma. Hay que tener cuidado al momento de ingresar, de tener la sesión con el mismo correo que se ha sido registrado. Ok, what do you remember about the previous class? Just tell me some ideas. Hola, hola. Hola. Dime, dime, dime. Ok, le voy a dar oportunidad de poder ver sus apuntes para que se recuerden. Hi, teacher. Hello, welcome. 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 Hello, En negativo sería she's not talking y ya en una pregunta is she talking ok so María want to add something Para formular preguntas también, Tuchet, este, ahí nos eh, mencionaba también eh, la est estructura, ¿verdad? Para poder formarlo. Eh, sería el, la palabra que inicie con WTH más el verbo T, más subject, más el verbo con el ING y siguiendo con el complemento. Ok. <coughs> Someone else want to add something? Alguien más desea agregar algo referente al review que estamos haciendo? Teacher, I remember the topic present continuous. Ah, okay. And, uh, and affirmative and negative and the uh, interrogative teacher. Okay. Vemos cómo formular, cómo formular eh, diferentes eh, oraciones en tercera persona, en primera persona, usando el verbo ing. Teacher. Okay. 
¿Quién más? Bueno, en lo que se recuerdan voy a, a ubicar ya la lista de asistencia. Okay, got it. Uh, America, Elizabeth, are you there? ¿Se encuentra América? Ana Iris? No here. Blanca Esperanza. Nahir. Ce Cecilia. Hello, present. Okay, welcome. Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alfredo. Francisco. Good night, teacher. Perdón por interrumpirlo. Hasta ahorita me pude conectar. Ok, América. <coughs> Gabriela Yamilet. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Gis 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 Gisela? I am here, teacher. Ingrid Geraldina? No? Present. Giselle o Ingrid? I am Giselle, teacher. Oh, okay, Giselle, I study Giselle. Okay, good. thank you. Uh, Ivania. It's not here. Jonathan. Say present, please. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Eh, José Ernesto Alemán. Don José Luis. Eh, present. Ok, thank you. Karina Vanessa. No. Catherine Maricela. Catherine Maricela. Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Candy Natalie. Present teacher. Okay. 
Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio Antonio. Roxana. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth. Sara. Sara is not here. Janet del Carmen is not here too. Yesenia Liz. Yesenia Liz. Liz, present teacher. Okay. Jessica Beatriz. Ok, el resto pues se puede agregar en, en el transcurso de la clase. Los trabajos algunos también han expresado que no se conectarán. Se debe llevar eh, la cuenta del porcentaje de asistencia requerido para poder aprobar el módulo. Eso es importante. Ok, let us start talking about this activity. We have uh, two questions here. And the first question said, what are temporary activities you are doing at your workplace these days? ¿Cuáles son las actividades temporales que usted está realizando en su lugar de trabajo en estos días? Y la segunda, what about your coworker? ¿Qué hay de sus compañeros de trabajo? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es algo temporal que ellos están haciendo? Try to think in English. And you are going to give me an answer in English, please. If you already got the information, just let me know and we can start with the question number one. But I need that all of you participate. Anybody wants to do it? Hola, ¿quién inicia? Anybody wants to do it? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, sir. And the answer in my case, and I check my email every morning and write report about a visit of our family and the play a uh, playing a video game. A video conference teacher. Oh, sorry, sorry. Playing uh, a planning a video conference. Okay. And the 
Um, um, I don't know, teacher, to decide the more activities in my workplace. Uh, and okay, go ahead. And I don't have a. ¿Cómo se dice? Yo no tengo un compañero de trabajo. I don't have I, I don't have any coworker. Ah, okay, okay, teacher. I don't have any coworker. I don't have any coworker. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else wants to answer these two questions. Please let me know. Teacher. Okay, go ahead, lady. In my work, we are preparing the family day with the teachers and the students. Okay. So? Solamente. Okay. I agree. Okay, uh, let, let me give you some example related with this. Okay, the first question said, what are temporary activities you are doing at your workplace this day? Well, for example, uh, during this day, I, I've been checking all the attendance of my co-workers, you know? I've been attending the principal office because he, uh, had been sick for more than one month. And the second, uh, what uh, what about my co-workers? Some of them uh, have been uh, working in a different way because uh, we need to attend all the students that have some problems uh, in different areas. So. That means that we need to divide the class into two groups in order to help the one that has problem. So that is the answer related with these two questions. Somebody else wants to do it, please let me know. Okay, can mass teacher me? Okay, go ahead. My activities with receive money, pay pay college, promote product. Uh, my college is check email and the right document and and document. Okay, what, what about your co-worker? Okay, that's it. Somebody else wants to do it? Alguien más? Hola, 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 can you hear me? Yes? Me, teacher. Okay. I am grading my report and helping to my co-worker right now. I am working quickly because in August, I have vacations and my co-worker and I going to the beach on vacation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, somebody else? Alguien más? Alguien más, por favor? Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. Wow, 
14, 14. Okay. Okay, let us continue then with the, the next activity that I prepared for, uh, for you. Uh, let me show you here. Okay, I already got this one too. Hold on a second, I'm going to share it with you. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, double click uh, on it. Okay, hold on a second. Permítame un segundito. Okay, ahí lo tienes. Lea las instrucciones, por favor. Y adelante. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, let me know as soon as you finish, please. Eh, perdón, teacher, fíjese de que estoy intentando ingresar al link, pero este me sale de que como que el URL no es válido. No sé si me lo podría volver a enviar al chat para volver a ingresar. Tal vez eh, tengo algún problema con el equipo, no sé. Okay, ahí está. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Finish, teacher. Hello? Finish, estuvo entretenida la actividad. Hola, hola. Escucha. Hola. Finish, le digo, teacher. Finish.
Tommy Rose. Finished, me digo. Finished. Ah, ok, you finished. Ok. Estuvo entretenido la actividad. Es que su micrófono, Roxana, se le, le, se la, se le oía así como con un feedback. No sé por qué. No le comprendí, no le comprendí ah. muy bien lo que decía. Ah, ok. Pero ahora sí me escucha bien. Sí, ya se oye más claro. Finished, teacher. Ok. Okay, I guess uh, all of you finish. Hold on a second, please. Okay. Let us continue talking with the progressive time. So uh, open the following link, please. and resolve it, please. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Finish, teacher.
Okay. Finish teacher. Okay. Okay, let us start talking about uh, some specific information related with our topic. I'm going to share with you my slides and some of you are going to help me read them. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to start with this one. The present progressive is used for activities in progress at the exact moment. Of speaking. El presente progresivo es usado para actividades en progreso en el momento exacto que se habla. Ojo que dentro de estos puntos que voy a tomar vamos a llegar al que es el que nos corresponde. Time expressions such as now, right now, and at the moment often occur with the present progressive tense. Es decir, vamos a encontrarnos con estas tres expresiones. For example, somebody said, can you call back later? We are starting at the moment. ¿Qué le dice ahí? ¿Cuál es la respuesta a alguien que llamó? Dígame. Estamos estudiando en este momento. Ah, ok. Esta palabra eh, o estas palabras en este momento van acompañadas justamente con la forma progresiva del verbo. We have another example. I'm trying to concentrate or look, it's raining again. Or you can say they're playing basketball. You are studying the present progressive right now. This is the first use. This es el primer uso. Vamos a, a, a ver varios, pero no quiero ir pasando el, a, la diapositiva sin que quede claro. La segunda, ¿qué nos indica la segunda? Dices, I'm trying to concentrate. ¿Qué nos dice? Está Intento de... concentrarme. Estoy tratando. De concentrarme. Ok, look, it's raining again. Mira, llueve o está lloviendo otra vez. They're playing basketball. You are starting the present progressive right now. Ok, hold up a second, please. Ok, this is the second use. The present progressive can also express. The extended present action that are in progress, but not happening at the exact moment of speaking. El presente progresivo también puede expresar eh, alguna intención de algo en el presente, acciones que están en progreso, pero que no están sucediendo al momento exacto de hablar. You can use time expression, uh, switch such as this week or this day to show when the action is happening. The action, the action may, may be ongoing or may start and stop uh, repeatedly, repeatedly. For example, she's 
uh, taking a computer for this semester. I'm looking for a cheap car. Do you have any idea? Okay, the next example say they're renovating their kitchen this month. It's taking a long time. And the last one say I'm in the middle of reading a really good book. A really good book. Okay, what can you tell me about these examples? ¿Qué me puede decir usted de estos ejemplos? Hola. Aló. ¿Qué comprende de, de, la, de los conceptos y ejemplos que tenemos en esta diapositiva? Mencionen. Ella estará tomando un curso de computación este semestre. Ok. Está dando una idea general, no, no significa que ya lo lleva. Ajá. Están, están ahí, por eso es que se extiende el espacio. El segundo ejemplo. I'm looking for a ship car. Do you have any idea? ¿Qué es lo que, qué es lo que dice ahí? Estoy buscando un coche barato. ¿Tienes alguna idea? Ok, es una acción que... Va a seguir hasta que encuentre el carro. La siguiente, they're renovating their kitchen this month. Uh, it's, it's taking a long time. Sí. Ellos, es, okay, bien, bien. Están renovando su cocina este mes. Les está tomando mucho tiempo. Okay. And the last one, I'm in the middle of reading a really good book. ¿Qué dice? La última dice, estoy en medio de la lectura de un libro realmente bueno. Ok, perfecto. I'm in the middle of reading a really good book. Okay, and this third one is the one that we are going to study today. Temporary situation can be expressed with the present progressive. If we feel that the situation is not permanent and won't continue for a long time. For example, I'm studying with a friend this week. Son situaciones temporales. The next example says she's living in the world for a few months. And the last example says just working at a cafe until he, until he find a job in his field. Ok, ¿qué nos dice el segundo y el tercer ejemplo? Dime. Está viviendo en Seúl. 
durante unos meses. Ah, ok. Es una Ya. conversación. Es una situación temporal. Por eso. Ok. Ok. En Tetewan. Ya Ya working Trabajo. en el café and he only find a good job in his field. ¿Qué nos dice eso? Jack trabaja en un café hasta que encuentra un trabajo en su campo. Ok, pero dice Jack trabaja o Jack está trabajando. Trabaja. Ok, what about right here? Jack's working. Jack sí. está trabajando. Sería está trabajando. Se recuerda que una actividad esta eh, la vimos y realmente con ese tiempo podemos también expresar sí. eh, diferentes situaciones. Uh -huh. Okay, now temporary or new habit can also be expressed with present progressive or regular habits that have continued for a long time and are permanent. And I and I have some example. Of, uh, I'm drinking a lot of coffee this week. You're smoking too much and they're working late. Every night. Okay, what can you tell me about these examples? The first one is really clear. I'm I'm drinking a lot of coffee this week. Oh, con eso. ¿Qué me dicen de la dos y la tres? Les oigo. De seco. ¿Tú estás fumando mucho? Ok. Y la tercera. Ellos están trabajando tarde todas las noches. En ese caso, esa oración se refiere, se refiere a futuro, ¿no? They're working late every night. Estarán, estarán trabajando noche. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Okay, don't forget that right here at the beginning say temporary or new habit can also be expressed. Situaciones temporales o nuevos hábitos también van a ser expresados con el presente progresivo, por eso se refiere ahí. Hay que mantener eso en mente, sí. Okay, the number five, the present progressive is used to describe a situation which is slowly changing. Se usa para describir a uh, una situación en la cual va cambiando lentamente. My grades are improving this year. Imagínense un estudiante dice así: My grades are improving this year. Technology is getting cheaper all the time. La tecnología va bajando de precio. And the last one says, well, uh, global warming is becoming an important issue. And the next one says, my English is getting better. Okay, what can you tell me about these examples?
Ojo con lo que dice arriba, que el presente progresivo también se usa para escribir situaciones en las cuales van dando cambios o van haciendo cambios de forma lenta. Okay. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si tienen alguna duda, pregunta hasta acá. Hola. No teacher. Okay, let me continue then. Okay, number six. The next use is for Definitely future plans used with a future time expression. For example, somebody say, I'm having lunch with Jackie tomorrow. Please. I'm having lunch with Jackie tomorrow. Estamos usando el progresivo en qué tiempo ahí? Para planes futuros. Ah, okay. The second one. We are going to French next week. Next one says she's leaving at three. And the last one, they're going to the movies on the weekend. Okay, I guess uh, you already got some ideas about what I'm talking about. Let me try to show you something now. Well. Okay, let us focus our attention right here. Temporary situation can be expressed with the present progressive if we feel that the situation is not permanent and won't continue for a long time. I'm staying with a friend this week. Ojo con eso. She's living in Seoul for a few months. And the last one said, Jack's working at a cafe until he finds a job in his field. Okay, what well, can you tell me? Or maybe you can give me another example related with temporary situation. Okay, tell me. I don't know if you, if you have any questions so far from here. You sure? Hello, sir. Eso no logro entenderlo bien. Ah, ok. Desde de, de, de el inicio. Sí, eso, eso, eso. Okay. El tiempo de situación can be expressed. Ok, dice. Las situaciones temporales pueden ser expresadas con el presente progresivo. Si nosotros sentimos que la situación no es permanente, y que no continuará por largo tiempo. Entonces vamos a usar el presente progresivo. Ejemplo, dice, I'm staying with a friend this week. ¿Qué, qué dice ahí? Veamos. ¿Qué comprende en español de? Se quedará como un amigo this week, esta semana. Ah, ok. Y arriba, ¿qué dice? Si sentimos, dice, que la situación no es permanente o okay, que va a continuar por largo tiempo. Ahí es donde vamos a utilizar ese, ese tiempo. Otra, she's living in Seúl for a few months. ¿Será algo temporal o no? Dime, de acuerdo a lo que ya vimos. Será algo permanente porque dice por, por unos meses. Ajá, ok. Ella está viviendo en Seúl por unos meses. Entonces no es una situación no permanente, Ticho. Por eso hacemos uso del progresivo porque eh, estamos hablando de situaciones temporales. Que eso es lo que explica el texto. 
Es como la siguiente que dice, she's living in Seúl for a few months. Ella está viviendo en Seúl por algunos, por algunos meses. And the last one here is that Jack's working at a cafe until he finds a job in his field. Veamos, centremos nuestra atención en la última oración. ¿Qué nos dice? Ayúdenme. ¿Qué dice ahí? Que Jack está trabajando en café mientras encuentra algo como de acuerdo a su trabajo, a su área. Okay. Entonces son, son situaciones temporales. Por eso hacemos uso de el uh, presente progresivo. Por eso ahí dice Jack's working at a cafe until he finds a job in his field. Incluso ahí lo podemos utilizar hasta para el, para el futuro, hasta que él encuentre otro empleo en su campo. Bueno, it's this uh, almost the same. I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to show you your material. Okay, on page number 37, uh, the second activity said, listen to your teacher, read the conversation. Then practice with the pattern, but let me show you. Vamos a compartirla. Okay, ahí está. Listen to your teacher. Um, read the conversation, then practice with the pattern. The conversation is between never and bed. Okay, say hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Eber. What are you doing these days? I am, I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a uh, coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this day. I know a college who complete, completed the, the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying in my own. You know, I am reading novels to have a better result. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. As you can see, what they are doing is just talking about the language. So I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Just let me know. Si hay alguna pregunta de alguna parte del texto, por favor me la indica para poder leerla. Inglaterra, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Which one? Uh, how do you say Inglaterra en inglés? In England. 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 Okay, what else? Teacher, Pronunciation about coincidence. 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 Y the other colega. 
Which one? Está escrita collage, que sería como collage. Collage. I'm trying to identify where it is. Dice ever. I know a collage. Ah, okay, okay, I know a colleague, a colleague. Colleague. Yes, colega, a colleague. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay, hagan una captura, por favor. I'm going to stop sharing. And I am going to We play the very tough one. Okay, please accept my invitation. You got it there. Teacher is drawing. Excuse me? Teacher, teacher. Hola, hola. Sí, llueve muy fuerte acá, teacher. Ah, it's raining. Yes. Okay, estoy mirando que no, 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 algunos no aceptaron las invitaciones. Me han dejado solo a varios. Si gusta puede unirme, dice, pero es muy fuerte la lluvia acá, dicho. Ok.
Okay, welcome back. Uh, sometimes it's really difficult uh, that all of you connect at the same time because some uh, have different problems. Like the one that somebody uh, told me that it's raining really heavy in the area. Algunas veces posiblemente sea que no es que se no se quieran conectar, sino por el servicio de internet que no no es el adecuado, quizás. Entonces, uh, iniciamos con los que lograron tener eh, su pareja para la práctica, por favor. ¿Cómo es eso? Richard, podemos leer con mi compañera Roxana. Yes, you can do it. Roxana. Yes, yes. ¿Quién inicia? Usted. Ok. Hi, Beth. Long time, no sé. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am ok. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completes the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know? I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening. Exercise the hell a lot. Finish the chair. Hola, hola, hola. Teacher, I am, no, I was with two partners. Ah, okay. But you can start with one. And later on, you can work with the next one. Um, Candy? Hola. Empieza usted. Ok, soy. Hi, Bill. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Heather. What are you doing these days? Uh, I am ok. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am talking in English. Of course, this day, this day, how, how about, about, about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English, an English course in English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. 
I college who he who complete the 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 score. He talking at training in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listen exercise. They help a lot. A lot. Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to do it? Please let me know. Can it continue? I am participating teacher with my partner Cecilia. Okay. Okay. Hi Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am talking an English course this day. How about how about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also talking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is talking and training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay, thank you. I am doing listening exercises. They help me a lot. Okay, thank you. Somebody's missing. Alguien falta. De leer. Just let me know, please. Who's next? Si no logro, logro conectarse nadie al momento del breakout room, ahorita puede elegir a alguien y con él trabajar, por favor. Okay, anybody wants to do it? Okay, let us, uh, okay, before we move, uh, I need that you tell me, what do you think about this old uh, place where, that I have here? ¿Qué me dice que comprende de las palabras que están en negrilla? ¿Qué están representando ahí? ¿Por qué están de ese color? Hola. Son los verbos en ING, teacher. Ah. El presente progresivo, teacher. El presente progresivo, excelente. Combinado con la forma del be, por ejemplo, aquí dice I am starting 
on my own. I am reading. Okay, let us move a little bit. Okay, exercise number three said uh, pair words, get in pairs and discuss the following question. Quien no tenga el material puede hacer una captura. Ahorita mismo. Okay, I'm going to read question number one. What are some of the scenes ever and best are doing these days? ¿Cuáles son algunas de las cosas que Ever Ben están haciendo en estos días? Based on the conversation, and the second one said, what things do you have in common with the people in the conversation, okay. ¿Qué cosas tiene usted en común con las personas de la conversación? Okay, eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. That is what we are going to do. So you are going to discuss with somebody else in order to get an answer. That, let me see here how many people. Bueno, posiblemente quizás la lluvia esté afectando porque en lugar de ir aumentando el número de conectados va disminuyendo. I don't know. Allá no está el inglés. Hello? Allá no está en in, inglés. In ah, you are creating now. Ok, ahí les he enviado una invitación. Espero ya tengan la, la captura que les mencioné al inicio. Por favor, acepten.
Gaby la dejaron sola. Hola, hola. Hola. Sí. No se conectó la persona que asigné. Sí, pero aquí eso es eh, intentando hacerlos. Ah, ok. Let me know why. Sí. Dígame, ¿qué es lo que ha hecho? Mm, lo que ellos están hablando es que están... They are taking an English course. Es lo que van a estar haciendo esos días. And working and study. Okay. Y lo que tenemos en común con esas personas es que estamos estudiando inglés. We are studying English. Ok. A course in English. Ok. Nada más. Sure. Ok, nice. That means that you already had the answer, right? Okay, let me see the time for the rest. Déjenme ver cómo va en el tiempo. Okay, who wants to give me uh, the answer for the first one? Hello? Yes, yes, you can read it. Okay. A mí me, me conectó con el compañero Edwin, pero creo que él no podía hablar, así que lo hice solita. Pero, ay, me corrí, sí, si me faltaba algo. Uh, they are working on a new project. 
second, I come on we have to take an English course. Okay, that is the main point. ¿Cómo dice? Ese es el punto principal in, in the second one. What, what scene do you have in common with the people in the conversation, the boss of, of you are studying an English course? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, let, let, let us see what else we have here. Um, okay, we are going to read this one. I have to use present continuous for temporary situation. Uh, okay, use the present continuous for temporary situation. The expression these days and at the moment are often used to emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Usamos el presente continuo para situaciones temporales. Las expresiones estos días y en este momento son usadas para enfatizar los aspectos temporales de la actividad. And we have some examples. I am reading a new book this day. This is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book. And number two, so Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. The meeting will finish sooner or later. And number three, say so we are uh, taking an English course. The course will end. El curso va a tener que finalizar. Entonces, por eso son cuestiones temporales. Ok, what about number four? Ok, let me see the time that we have. Ok, I guess it's going to be better if we start working on activity number six, right? A, a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. Escriba un párrafo de seis líneas acerca de eventos temporales en su lugar de trabajo. Ok, come on, let us do this part, please. ¿Alguna pregunta que tenga referente a esta actividad? No question. Ok.
Okay, let me see what you have now, please. I'm going to stop sharing. As soon as you finish, let me know, please. Did you finish? Not yet. Sí, mi teacher, le puedo leer mis actividades. Yes, you can share it. Okay. Family day celebration. August vacation. Paradise on September 15th, Civic Week, Opening Civic Month. Finish. Okay, don't forget at the moment that you are going to write down these uh, activities, uh, you are going to use the present progressive. Sería solamente la última. Opening city monk. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, somebody else, please. Alguien más, por favor. Bueno, ya estaba ahí lista, creo, sí. <laughs> yes, teacher. Gabby, your turn, your turn, Gabby. In my job, a temporary event is a vacation because only are six days in a, in a month. Before of the vacation, we are doing a party on the last day before of the uh, before of vacation. My co working, dancing, and play with the boss or other co worker. We wait the vacation with much happiness. Ah, okay. I got your point. I got your point, Gabby. Thank you. Okay, somebody else. No, Seliman, did you finish? No, yet. Somebody else, please. Okay, como que sigue lloviendo fuerte en algunas áreas, por eso es que la mayoría no se conectó. En algunas no ha afectado mucho, en otras sí. Ah, 
Acá ha sido más viento, por eso es que de repente la señal se pone bastante baja. Ok, somebody else, please. ¿Alguien más, por favor? Hola. Did you finish? Okay, uh, according to the time, maybe you, we are going to continue talking with about this topic in the next class and you are going to have the opportunity to finish okay let me check out again the attendance the hemia registered in all assistance america Say hello. Yes, if you're here. Okay. Ana Iris. Blanca Esperanza. Cecilia. Hi, teacher. Ah, Cecilia is here. Okay. Edwin Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, sir. Edwin Alfredo. It's not here. Francisco. Here. Gabriela. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Gisela. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Ingrid. Present. Ivania Geraldina. Jonathan Stanley. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Don José Luis. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher, disculpe, el compañero Jonathan está diciendo presente en el chat y sí. no puede decir. Okay, hold on a second, let me see. Sí, ahí está. Él, él tiene problemas de lluvia muy fuerte. Karina Vanessa. No está. Katherine Mar Maricela. Paola. Kendi Natalie. Present. Mauricio Antonio.
Roxana. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara. Janet del Carmen. Yesenia. Jessica Beatriz. Bueno, en la actualidad solamente vemos 13 personas. El resto no se presentó por diferentes situaciones. Ok, let me see the time that we have now. Ok. Well, uh, we are going to finish uh, this week, the next Monday. Vamos a, a culminar el, los contenidos y el review para el próximo lunes. Y luego daríamos inicio a la semana 4 y al martes. Así es que enjoy your weekend and I hope to see you next week. Bye bye. Take care. Bye teacher. Good night. Good night teacher. Okay, good night. Bye. Bye teacher. Bye teacher and partner. Bye. Bye teacher. Good night. Okay. Bye.